Lee, I think it's an open secret that you, you left the club just before the end of the season. Uh, it must have been a hard thing to a hard decision to make. Uh, I think it's the hardest hardest decision I made probably in my life, certainly my professional career. Um, it's uh, again, it's no secret. Me and, me and the missus have made made home up here and set base, and we've developed quite a, a deep bond with the club. You know, everything we've gone through through playoff highs and lows and and flooding and and everything else that comes with it. It was a big move for both of us to come all the way up here after being based in the, the Midlands, certainly for, for most of my career. And uh, um, So no, it wasn't an easy decision and not one that we, we certainly made lightly. And I say we because she's involved in the, in the process of it. There's been times over the last four years where I've had offers for other clubs to go to. Um, and we just, we, we loved it up here so much. We just wanted to stay and, and do our best for the club. and. And then this end, end of last season, um, after the playoffs, you know, um, we had an opportunity again to move, move further away back down south. But you know, we, we wanted to put everything we could to try and get in, get promoted again this year, and it didn't happen. But uh, not through want of trying from, from my behalf or, or from the department that I'm in um, or was in. Uh, so no, very very hard decision, but you have to you have to move on sometimes. I think. Football, such a, a, volunti- a volatile and, and transitory business. I, t- I suppose that's part of the reason why you want something a little bit more secure. It's it's difficult, particularly if you work on a football department, then rightly or wrongly, and sometimes not down to, to effort or, or the quality of the work you're putting in, results sometimes dictate what happens to you. From the medical side of it and I've got a lot of a lot of my peers and former peers who've lost jobs, and it's happened to me as well. It's not necessarily based on um, on performance or, or kind of the input that you've got in the club. Um, so it makes it a difficult a difficult profession. And for all the upsides of it, it is a dream profession. You know, um, you work a lot to try and to get into this position, but uh, you do. You do get to a point where you've got to think of your family, um, kids, wives, houses, mortgages, and the nature of football and how, how volatile it can be, whether that's financially through clubs or or through managers and new managers coming in and, and not fancying you. And I've been, I've been on that side of things, you know, at, at previous clubs where new managers come in and, and got rid of everyone. And, and it's hard, it is, and, and it's hard explaining it to the missus when you get home that night, you know, you turn up at eight o'clock in the morning you do your, your job and then at five o'clock in the afternoon you find you're being let go and uh, it's difficult it is and um, fortunately that was never the case up here you know I think I think as a club certainly from the medical side of things you can see from from the way Dolly uh, has been has been around for, for the past 20 odd years uh, maybe more um, that the the people at the higher levels of the club like to give a bit of a bit of kind of uh, consistency in what they're doing, and my my role was new to the club, um, and unfortunately they, they they've they've backed us uh, to an extent over the last four years and, and kept that that normality. Even when a new manager came in, it was Graham Kavanagh that brought me in. Um, one of the the many things that he tried to do to improve the the professionalism and the and the working side of things, and um, he was you know I was fortunate enough that he gave me an opportunity, and uh, and then again fortunately enough the club. Uh, kept that consistency when when Keith came in. 